guaranteed rate field and the park will be filled tomorrow for the White Sox home opener. It absolutely will, but only on two we have been examining potentially dangerous light poles outside the ballpark. We found changes to those rusted out poles after we went to the city. CBS 2 Stephen Graves live there at the ballpark and Stephen, your reporting is making a difference. One pole that we know of is gone. Marie and Brad, that's right. That's because it was one of the worst ones right outside of Guaranteed Rate Field here. Take a look right now. A cone is on top of the area where it used to be, but other rust rusted poles down this block, they just have a coat of paint on them. And we're asking, is that enough? Do you even feel safe standing under this? I, I, no, I'm not, I don't feel safe. That was Dr. Gun Kang Fu, a structural engineer with the Illinois Institute of Technology expressing concern last week. This rusted whole ridden pole outside guaranteed rate field. This is very dangerous. Now gone after worries it could fall on or around the busy 35th Street. The Chicago Department of Transportation now placing a cone over it, taking action right after CBS2 called it to their attention and before thousands attend the White Sox home opener Tuesday and other games this season. And it should have been removed ASAP. Engineer Dr. Sammy Ten has helped the CBS2 investigators assess city light poles for years, ones with rusty bases in danger of falling like others have in the past on people and vehicles. Now in Arizona, we sent him pictures of other poles around Sox Park that did not have holes but rusted bases that the city recently painted over. The painting of the external surfaces of the pole will protect the uh, the pole, the base of the pole from additional corrosion. But last week we saw Dr. Fu remove what he called corroded steel from inside the pole. That means, you know, there is a certain degree of internal corrosion. While CDOT inspected the structures two weeks ago, it is unclear what specific checkups took place. They should have done some ultrasonic inspection to actually measure the residual uh, thickness of the metal. Um, and then their, their corrective treatment should have been dependent on those measurements. A 2018 city audit on light poles showed at least four with significant rust damage on this block. It's unclear if any were replaced. Some further down on 35th Street are no more, just a rusty base left behind. And chances are you will see this cone sitting here for a while if you come to the home opener tomorrow. That's because the city tells me supply chain issues are affecting those orders on new light poles. Reporting live here in Bridgeport, Stephen Graves, CBS 2 News. Stephen, thanks for that report.